welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Special guest tonight, Heist Almighty. Going to take a look at Duda Ciel's Aphrodisiac. It is a strong stout brewed with cocoa and vanilla. 6.5% ABV. It is got a bottled on before date, bottled on date of December 10th. So it's about a year old. Needs to be drank. Yep. So, what else do we know about this particular beer? Uh, well, according to Rate Beer, second best beer in Canada, Ooh. in theory. In theory. In theory. Uh, the bottle is... Certain... What is the best beer? Is that Pesh Morteau? According to them, Pesh Morteau. Mm -hmm. Although they have some ciders rated higher than that. Cider. Cider. <laughs> Alright. Um, so yeah. Cider. Uh, the bottle is in French because this is a Quebecois beer. That's to say. Uh, it is a black ale uh, presented with the aromas and tastes of vanilla chocolate. Black chocolate, pardon me. Uh, bourbon and roasted malt, as I translate, because that's easier than my terrible, terrible French pronunciation. Uh, but, but, but in this beer, vanilla and cocoa are complement, and never something, something, yeah, whatever. Anyway, basically all you need to know, chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I'm falling asleep listening to that. Anyway, so, chocolate, vanilla, so, okay, let's try it. And the plain black cap goes to one. You pour first. Ooh, that is black. Jesus. Jeebus. Save me, Jeebus. Yeah, that's dark and viscous. Yep. This is actually looking slightly more oily. Wow, look at the, uh, the... Look at that. This is looking really oily, and it's got a nice head to it. It's got a nice mocha head to it. Which, uh... I suppose I was kind of expecting, given it's a roasty malt beer with... Uh, I, I can smell the roasty and the chocolate from here, really. Mm -hmm. I haven't you know, made enough to smell it. You didn't get a lot of head at all, did you? No, I did not. Got, I got mainly the head this time, but look at it sticking to the sides there. That's really nice. It's not sticking as, to the sides as quite as well as I was hoping. But, uh, but look at that. You can actually see like a, a rim around here of an oil outline. That's a really oily beer. Yeah, it's, it's nice wow. and sticky. <laughs> A decent carbo in it, but from what I can see, it's pretty black though. There's like a touch of brown around the bottom ridge of the glass, but this pretty Just a much airy edge. It's pretty much opaque. There's almost no light coming through that at all. No. And now my head's gone. Light cannot penetrate its surface. That's what she said. Ah, it is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> all right. Don't so, get any funny ideas. Love you dearly, not queerly. <laughs> anyway. All right, Not so that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so, it, really chocolatey. Yeah, it is pretty chocolatey. I mean, you do pick up that little bit of a vanilla scent to it. Yeah, there's definitely a vanilla undertone. Chocolate up front, vanilla in back. That if you say anything to that, I swear to God. I'm not, no. <laughs> Oh, not that kind of aphrodisiac. Anyway, um... <laughs> and it's bad place it's, it's rolling. It smells like milk chocolate. It smells like like, uh, smells like Christmas chocolates or something. Almost like chocolate milk. <laughs> yes, it smells like like you added a little too much syrup to your your chocolate milk in like Nesquik or something. Alright, time to dive mm. in. Our head's gone. Yeah. Ooh. Nice mocha, roasted chocolate coffee kind of taste. It's light though. It is lighter than I would have expected. Mm. It's lighter than the appearance would lead you to believe. Oh, like and there's the vanilla. It creeps in right on the end. Mm. It's got an earthy roasted roasted bitterness. Yeah, the chocolate and the vanilla on this are pretty nicely balanced. Mm. Yeah, it blends in with the chocolate really well. But I'm almost finding that like really light in the body. It is lighter than I would have expected yeah. for a for a six and a half percent stout. For a six and a half percent stout, that's pretty uh pretty light. I mean, all things considered, it's not like it's light lager light or anything. It's it's not watery or anything. It's just no. it's got this like medium mouthfeel maybe. It's a little it's a lot lighter than I was expecting. Yeah, it's, it's a lot tasty. Though. It's quite drinkable. It's more on the um. 
it has a really milk chocolatey kind of taste, like smell to it, but it doesn't really convey so much in the taste where you get this like this, this a lot more coffee and mocha chocolate. Yeah, there's kind a of lot taste, more bittersweet lot, chocolate. A lot more, yeah, baker's chocolate bitter in the mm. taste than there was in the smell. The vanilla yeah. doesn't mellow out the, the chocolate in the taste quite yeah. as much as it did in the smell. Still really good though. Yeah, mm. it's uh, it's definitely doesn't it didn't end up it's, unbalanced. It's not um, it's not really highly carbonated either. It finishes quite it finishes dry. Reasonably yes. Mm. Mm. a little bit of wetness I guess, but a little probably bit. from the oiliness. Anyway, you want to sit down with this for a bit? Yep, yeah, let me take your picture. All right, we'll be right back. Hello, hello, hello. Starting to feel those beers. How are you doing? Yeah, I sound like you're feeling those beers. Yeah, I was feeling it during that at BrewDog. That BrewDog was 9%. <laughs> yeah, and we pounded that pretty quick to get onto this yeah. one. Bonjour, YouTube. Bonjour. <laughs> We're back with Aphrodisiac. Bienvenue. So, bienvenue. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Hey, hey. All right. So. Hey, Pepe. Hello, Pepe Le Pew. Avec. Ah. <laughs> every time they swear in that cartoon, it's like avec. <laughs> anyway, before we offend the French people. Uh, do the CL Aphrodisiac. What do we think of this one? Great. Uh, hmm? I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good too. Great smelling, great tasting. The appearance is um, not quite as much head as I was expecting from a, from pouring it that aggressively on on, on a stout. But it's not like it's um, a huge wild, slight again. You know, yeah, the appearance. Other than that, the appearance is really the nice, really dark black oily stout. Mm. That's really nice. Um, the biggest thing that I got against this beer is that it doesn't. It's very light. Like it's it's light for a stout, but it works in the sense that it still tastes great and you want to drink this. Um, like you were saying as, we, as, we break. Were, as we were discussing during the break, if the name is Aphrodisiac, you don't want something that's all heavy and going to make you feel bloated, if that's what you're going for. Yeah. So She's not into that. No no one's into that, as we've discussed. <laughs> She's into something every, every time she pushes up. No one's into something <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Okay, so, um, aphrodisiac. <laughs> Every, <laughs> aphrodisiac, okay, so, just like you said during the break, if it were based on taste alone, it would be the one of the, probably the second best out in Canada. But what do I honestly think, considering that what makes up a beer uh, amounts to more than just the taste alone? Um, be totally and completely honest I thought it was like the light kind of took away from it because I was expecting something a little bit of thicker body but I can't hold it too much against it because I really like the taste of it I, I'm not obsessed with the real super heavy stouts so I'm fine with that whatever <laughs> all right so I think I'm gonna give this um, a really low for I'm gonna say just say four to five. I'm gonna say four and a half just to be contrary. Four, four and a half because you want to be a, a, a. I just I just want to be contrary. All right, want to be a aphrodisiac. Sure, why not? All right. Okay. Good work. Why I'm still. <laughs> four yes. four to five for me. Four and a half from High School Mighty, and um, we'll talk to you guys later. Now that I'm. Pretty well lit from drinking this and the Brew Dog and the Ola Dubs all in succession. Now, on to the terrible joke beer. That We're going to do the terrible joke beer of the night, and you'll have to wait and watch that review later. All right, cheers. Thanks, Rhino. Rhino didn't buy this one for us. No, Rhino didn't get this one, but he did do the terrible joke beer, which you will see later. Yes, we're going to do the terrible joke beer next, and Rhino did send it to us. All right. No, this one was me. I take credit for this hey, one. You bought this one. The terrible joke beer, all white. Isn't that what I said? Yeah. Whatever. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.